Hello, what is up guys? My name is Mohammed and if you are not already subscribed and follow me on both YouTube and Instagram channel, please consider to do that. Why? Because in a daily basis, I am going to share with you some top and tips on how to stay fit. So without further ado, let's jump into it. First, I am going to give you the outline of what we are going to say today. First, I'm going to teach you how to set goals in macros. Then, I'm going to give you a list of some essential items that you need to buy uh, in order to have a clean mask, actually on budget. Uh, the third, I'm going to teach you how to record your macros. And the fourth one is going to, I'm going to show you how to prepare a list for yourself to go shopping on a weekly basis uh, so you will spare some time for yourself and really save some time and money see you then so the first i have to give you clean idea of how many percentage of your calorie intake should be dedicated to each macro so you can easily follow that you have to keep it in mind 35 percent go with carbohydrate 30 percent with protein and 35 percent on your fat but keep it in your mind that these percentages are based on your calorie consumption. Okay, now I'm going to guide you through how to set your macro. The first thing you need to do is to go to TDEE calculator, which I already mentioned in my previous video, and try to give it all your personal information, uh, for example, your height, your weight, and your age, and the amount of uh, percentage of your body fat which you can find it in picture in internet for example you can just see which uh, which of the picture or your body type is look like just like this image then uh, scroll down and go to the bottom of the page and you can see a macronutrient breakdown go to a bulk and specifically go for a uh, moderate carb bulk why because uh, we want to put it in uh, budget friendly ratio uh, because of that uh, we cannot go with higher amount of protein because protein are more expensive and carb are uh, less expensive and also keep in mind that uh, too many carbs intake will give you beer bulk loops uh, that we don't want we want a clean bulk so after that write down all the macronutrient and calorie intake on your paper and go to my fitness pal app as i already mentioned in my previous video and try to insert all the information into my fitness pal then this app will provide you some chart that show you how many percentage or how many grams of each macronutrient protein carb or fat you are using by simply adding your intake adding your food into this program so now let's jump into a list of items that you need in order to have a clean bulk first we start with protein you need to get chicken breast ground beef try to go with 80 percent lean ground beef uh, then you need egg and you need egg white separately in it comes in container and it is really cost efficient and it has low calorie and high amount of protein then you need tuna skipjack why a skipjack because a skipjack are basically a smaller type of fish uh, which contains lesser amount of mercury uh, which may lead to poisoning so you need to go with a skipjack the next one is your fat for fat you need oils it could be olive or coconut oil but i suggest to have both of these use olive oil for cooking and coconut oil just for seasoning any salad or anything that you want to eat just put a little bit of coconut oil and it give you high amount of calorie and high amount of fat uh, without any added carbs or something like that uh, the next one which is really good in taste and really high in macronutrient is peanut butter uh, then you can use cheese milk yogurt or any uh, dairy product then it goes to nuts i uh, recommend you to just buy walnut and almond do not go for other expensive one 
Try to use them, it will give you all the necessary nutrients that you need in daily basis. So the last one is vegetable. Vegetable are almost zero calorie, so try to have it at least with one of your meals. But if you can go more, so feel free to go more with that vegetable. If you want it to be more budget friendly, try to go with frozen. Uh, vegetable like frozen uh, broccoli or frozen beans so now we have list of items uh, and essential product that we need to buy here it comes a question how much of this product I should buy again we have to get back to our app and try to fill it up with imaginary food that you like to eat during the day Try to just fill it up until it reaches the end. After that, try to write down the amount of every ingredient that you use uh, in app. For example, for ground beef, you use 170 grams per day. So just write it and multiply it to 7 so you get uh, approximately the amount that you need in order to uh, have a complete uh, food for week then after that uh, you have a list that you can go and shop at the end I'm going to give you some extra point that you need to keep it in your mind the first one is that your body won't be able to digest very well any amount more than uh, 40 grams of protein per each meal so try to divide your meal into five or six and try to put the protein amount approximately around 40 for each of your meals then you can reach your goals per day here it comes to end of this video if you like that video please give it a like and subscribe me for more information that i'm going to release in the following weeks and days so hope you guys have a good day and goodbye.